I bet he can help me find the smuggler's cave. It's a hand-cranked elevator. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh, well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops! Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! Stand aside, or I'll strike you down. Uh, I'll strike you down with how polite and reasonable I can be. We seem to have an unwanted visitor, Gruff. Deal with him. Darn. Let me try that again. Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? How at him, Gruff. Darn. Let me try that again. Good afternoon, I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people, chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn. Let me try that again. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Van Gogh Fashington. Jethro Van Gogh Fashington. Very well, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. The Chuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please, sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate... All pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> I don't get it. The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course, you can't have it. Unless you want to give me something in return. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. Your evil plan will never work, Andre. But it is flawless. A carefully placed series of charges laid throughout Blood Island, all controlled by a network of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. And only one man has access to the master switch. A uh, boss. I am that man, Threepwood, and... Boss? Yes, Mr. Croft. Ixnay on the evil amp play? Ah, yes, of course. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals, stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean, and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not crazy. My prices are. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Threepwood. I expect you to buy. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. 
but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five-card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course I trust you. Very well. Let us begin. Come on, sevens. Take a moment to look at your cards. Two of spades, three of hearts, four of clubs, eight of clubs, and uh, king of diamonds. What a terrible hand. Five of a kind. Right there, not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I'm talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Who are you calling up? Oh, oh. There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by Northeast. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Whoops, I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. Yep, yep, that's right! 
They're on Blood Island, sir. Hit them.